Good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening, sir. Yeah, so I think we had discussed uh, structural isomerism in quantum right? Yes, sir. Yeah, sir. Yeah, Okay, so, um, so the last part of this chapter is stereoisomerism. Stereoisomerism in coordination compound. We all know the definition the stereoisomerism is because of the relative position of atoms of groups in their space. Right? So, we know two types of isomerism this has. One is geometrical. Geometrical isomerism. And the other one is optical. Geometrical and optical. Okay. Now, to understand the uh, geometrical and optical isomerism, you should understand first of all the uh, the geometry also. What is the geometry of the molecule and how to represent the geometry, right? So, the geometrical isomerism. We'll take few assumption here, and the assumption is. The central metal atom is represented by represented by m this is one thing monodendrit ligands ligands are Represented by monodendrit ligands are represented by small letters A, B, C, D, and so on. By small letters A, B, C, D, E, F. Then we have symmetrical bidentate ligand. is represented by symmetrical means both atoms are same right 
right? Symmetrical is not because of the structure, but it is because of the donor atoms. If both donor atoms are the same, then it is symmetrical identity. And that's why we assume it as AABB capital letter, right? And unsymmetrical bidentate ligand is represented by A, B, C, D, E, F, etc. This is the notation we are going to use. Ajay, we'll see that when cut in the last. Sure, sir. Yeah. Okay, so these are the notations we are going to use. Correct. Now, we are going to see the geometrical isomers uh, of compounds with different coordination number. The most important one we have Coordination number six. Coordination number six. So the first uh, type of uh, you know complex we can have with coordination number six, and I am considering complex with all monodentate ligand. Right, the first type is. Complex with all monodented ligand. The first example is we have MA six type. What is MA six type? What do you mean by this? Sir, all the surroundings are the same. Six mo monodentate ligands. And same kind of, same ligand is being surrounded in that. Yeah. Yes. So there are six monodentate ligands and all ligands are similar. Right? We have six monodentate ligands. So obviously the coordination number six we have, its geometry is what? Its symmetry is octahedral, okay. right? So how these six ligands are arranged around the metal M that we need to understand here. And by changing the position of the ligand, do we get different structures or not? If we get different structures, then the isomers, isomer possible. Otherwise, it does not show isomerism. For example, you see this. How do we represent a uh, this MA6 type molecule, it has octahedral geometry and we have to place uh, metal here at the center and six ligands are present at the corners of an octahedron, which is nothing but this. Right? Now you see, since all ligands are the same, anywhere if you change the position of A, right, this A you place here, this A you place here, this does not make any difference. 
right? Hence, in this case, we have no geometrical isomerism possible, no GIU for this. Did you understand this? Yes, sir. Any doubt? No, sir. Another type of molecule you see, MA5 B type. Five monodentate ligands of uh, identical monodentate ligands, five, and one is different from the other. Okay? So, how do we place this? Again, the geometry is octahedral. Metal is present here at the center. And wherever you want, you can place this B and the 5A atom. For example, I am placing 5A atoms here at the corner of this square. 1A on the top and B here on the bottom. Wherever you want, you can place it. That's not a problem. Okay, one molecule is this. Can we draw one more molecule here? M here. A, A. I'll place B here. A here. Tell me, is this possible? Yes, sir. That's the same or not, sir? What? So they both are the same or not, sir? They're all bond lengths and all everything. And why it is same? So all the bond lengths, bond angles are all the same. Yes, all the six positions are equivalent position here. Right, that's why A or B, whatever structure you write first or second, both are the same structure we have. Right. Because the relative position is same. You see, this B will have at a certain distance, we have A, A, all these A present. Here also we have same kind of thing, right? Hence, both molecules are identical, same molecules, and we do not have geometrical isomerism possible in this kind of complex. Okay, could you tell me what is the angle this one? Ninety. Is it ninety degree? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Right. So this angle is ninety degree. You see. The square is in the plane. Imagine the, uh, you know, the, the screen of the computer or laptop, whatever, right? The screen is the square. So this A is coming towards you, this A, one of the A, and the other one is going behind the screen away from you. Like that, you can imagine tetrahedral, uh, you know, sorry, octahedral geometry. Is it right? Are you able to imagine this? Yes, sir. Right? So one this A is coming towards you and this one is going behind the screen away from you. So this is octahedral geometry. So obviously this A, this line and the plane of the square are perpendicular. Angle is 90 degrees. What is this angle here? This angle is also 90 degree. Yes, what is this angle? One eighty degree. One eighty. Yes, it's one eighty degree. Right. Actually, structure you must understand how this octahedral looks like. Okay. Similarly, if we take third type of uh, you know complex, which is M A four B two type, could you tell me how many GIs? 
पॉसिबल इफ पॉसिबल दे थ्री ओके ओके ऑल ऑफ यू आर गेटिंग थ्री लास्ट टाइम एन एंसर प्लीज नो सामिंग इज गेटिंग टू अदर सेल मी ओके शांकिन इज गेटिंग टू ओके प्रिपन इज गेटिंग टू वेंकट व्हाट अबाउट यू ओके प्रथम इज गेटिंग थ्री डूइंग सेवन मिनट अमरा नियति अद्वैता इज देयर यस यस सर आई गॉट थ्री ओके अमला इज गेटिंग टू ध्यान इज गेटिंग टू फाइन गाइस यू सी व्हेनेवर यू गेट दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन सपोज यू नो इफ आई एनी एग्जांपल यू हैव देन बेस्ट वे इज व्हाट यू राइट डाउन इन दिस फॉर्म इन दिस फॉर्मेट ए4 बी2 टाइप so that you can easily you know draw the structure because you cannot memorize this there are so many possibilities right we will we are going to discuss all the possibilities here but in the exam you should know how to draw the structures right okay kirtana is getting to fine so first of all what you do uh, what you have to do here you have to draw the various possible structures first most of you are getting 3 so i am drawing 3 square here when you uh, draw this 3 square and obviously metal we have at the center of the square in all the structures metal will have at the center now randomly you place all the ligands around this metal at the corner of the octahedron whatever you want wherever you want you can place for example suppose i am placing all the a at the corner of the square this is one possibility and the 2b like this this is one possible structure you can draw now what you do this a and b are like exchange a a b a this is b and this is a this is another possibility okay what is the another possibility we have can we change the position of b here in this square or i'll change the position of this b suppose i b, i place this b here a here b here a here alternate present it the same as the first one Same as the first one. Okay. What is the another? Is there any other possibility? Also in the second one, if we interchange the top B with the right A. This one. Yes, sir. Okay. A, B, A, A and B. This is what you are saying, Anjali? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tell me. Any other possibility? Can we draw anything else here? Sir, isn't second and fourth equivalent? I'll tell you that way. Any other possibility you see that we can draw? Okay, no. So first of all, in the exam, obviously, obviously, if you do some practice, you don't have to draw all the structures. You could identify this easily that how many structures we can draw. But suppose if you do not know, you just 
draw like this all the possible structure whatever you feel like like the possible structure we have for the complex you draw it like this now you have to then analyze that whether the drawn structure that you have drawn right whether the structure you have drawn are identical or different structures because the number of different structures are the geometrical isomers here so you need to first identify also after drawing the structure that they are same or different now how to identify the given molecules are same or different okay so for this what we do we just you know we just uh, you know take the reference structure like suppose the first one this structure i take as a reference one right 1 2 and first structure we take it as a reference one and the first structure at the coordinate of the square we have all a ligand present so in other structure also we'll try to draw a square and the coordinate of the square contains all a ligand like suppose this one in this one could you think of this particular structure this is square you see this is square so when you rotate the molecule like this it becomes the same as the first molecule so what we can say first and third are equivalent structure is it clear similarly first and second are different structure we cannot compare first and second wait dear this is second second one you see we have three a atoms at the corner and one b so if you want to compare first and fourth these two are different structures if you want to compare second and fourth so three a at the corner and one b so we can easily draw this square hypothetically we can think of this square which contains 3 a at the corner and 1 b here at the corner it means this second and fourth are also the similar structure this is one way one of the ways to identify whether the given structure is identical or different structures Did you understand this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got it. Okay. This is the one of the ways, right? One also thing you can think of. One also way we can draw trans isomer in this. We can define cis and trans isomer here, and cis and trans isomer we define by the relative position of the atom. Like you see, if the two B atom present at 180 degree the 2b atom present at 180 degree this is trans isomer if b present at 180 degree okay here you see the 2b atom the angle between this b and this b this bond it is 90 degree right so when the bond angle is 90 degree here then it is cis isomer so this one is cis this one is trans and if you look at the bond angle here between b and b it is 180 here also it is 180 if you look at this and that's why first and third are the same thing second and fourth you see the bond angle is 90 hence these two are also same is it clear yes sir you need to change the relative position if it is not changing then the molecule is same identical only here if you compare another thing also here if you compare the 2b is at 90 degree from all the a ligand right 
here also we have the same thing this b if you see it is at it is at 90 degree from all the a ligand you see this angle is 90 this angle is 90 this angle is 90 this angle is also 90 all the angles are 90 here hence the molecules are identical so many different ways you can think of this structure right so you don't have to memorize this once you, you know once you finish this you will easily identify that what are the possible structures we can draw okay now another one you see fourth type of molecule m a 3 b 2 c type molecule Tell me, if GI possible, then how many GI should be there? Okay, done. How many isomers you're getting? Three. When that wait. Okay, so uh, the structures are one, two. Three A and one C. So one C this is one structure. Another one is this. Another one is this. Next we can draw A a b and c which are b we have this is b You can also think of this structure B, C, M, A, okay. 
like this you can draw many structure but again you have to last yeah, you have to you know compare whether the drawn structure is same or different right so here you see uh, we have 3a at the corner uh, with respect to b we can say b is at 180 here b is at 90 so these two structures are different definitely okay this one i have written 4a here i'll just change this um suppose b i'll place over here b i'll place over here so this two the b are at 90 degree to b atom here also b at 90 degree right here b at 180 degree here b at 180 degree and here the two b atom where is the written 4a This is C. This is E. For example. Okay. So here the two B atom are at ninety degree again. So let us try and draw a square which contains three A and one C. Okay. Three A and one C. We cannot draw over here, but here we can draw three A and one C. Can we do that? No. Here also we cannot do that. 3a and 1c we can draw it here you see this right so first second third fourth and fifth so we can say first and fourth are identical structure 3a and 1c we cannot draw it here right first and fourth are same if you look at this one 2a 1b and 1c okay so we can have 2a 1b and 1c if you look at this one and this one here this is structure for second one and fifth one are they similar structure or different structures they are different so which one second one and fifth one they are different sir different so first second and fifth are different what about second and third second and third are also different but third and fifth are the same structure third and fifth are the same structure because you see we can have 2a b and c a square like this so third and fifth are the same structure so the three isomers we have we have first one as an isomer we have second one and third one this three isomers we get in this molecule okay so, sir i tell me uh, sir i didn't understand how second and fifth are different second and fifth yes sir you see in the second one we have 2a b and c here also we have 2a b and c but the position of a you see here it is at 90 degree and here the 2a at 180 oh right yes sir b and c are at 90 degree here b and c are at 180 yes. degree okay yes sir right yes sir so with respect to a we can say this molecule is cis isomer this one is with respect to a identical atoms we have to see with respect to b and c we cannot say with respect to a it is a uh, cis isomer and this one is trans isomer uh, b or c we can also take here yeah? 
cis this one and trans this one. Okay, so one second and third are the different structures. Four ten fifth you want you can draw, but these are the similar structures that we have already drawn. Now the problem is that this kind of question, if you try to solve by this method, it takes a lot of time in the exam. Okay, so what is the best way you need to do here? And this is the method you are going to use in the exam. You don't have to draw these structures. It takes a lot of time. Just to consider A3, B2, C we have here, molecule. So, the thing we have is M, A3, B2, C. What you need to do? You need to, you know, write down the ligands in a pair, right? Two ligands in a pair, three groups you have to form. Three different possibilities, three groups you have to form. Like you see this A3, B2, AC, what, how you can, you know, form three groups in a pair. We can write both A together. Then one A we can write with another B and the another B we can write with C. This is one group we get. Another one what we can write, we exchange A and B here, A, A, B, A and B, C. So we can write A, B. This A, B, you let it be middle as it is. A, B and A, C, we can write another one. And B, B, we had, we, we did not write together. So they write down A, A together. Then here we write down B, B together. And then A, C together. So these are the three different, you know, possibility you can you know, write. Any other possibility you can try, you won't get. Right? Yes, sir. So this actually, if you want to draw the structure after this, you see how do we draw the structure? See here, this pair actually represents the ligand which is present at the opposite corner of a diagonal. This pair, this pair and this pair. You see AA. AA is present AA, AB, AC. Just a second. AA, AB, AC. AA, AB, BC. Take care. You see this molecule here. The two ligands present at the opposite corners are A, A, bracket close. Another two, we have BC. B, C, bracket close. Another two we have A, B, bracket close. Whether you, whether you write this B, C here or A, B here, that won't make any difference, right? But this molecule, this, you know, uh, uh, you know, arrangement, we can draw like this. Did you get my point? Similarly, here you see, for this one, it would be two A, A, like 2A at the opposite corner, AC at the opposite corner, and here we have what? Here we have BB. So this one you see here we have AA, BB, AC. So this is the third one we have. This one it would be AB, then AC, then AB again. Second one. So, what is this? so like this, you can frame different pairs of. Uh, of two ligands at a time and three groups you need to form here since it is octahedral. Did you understand this? It gives you the number of isomer that is that you get over here. See, if you go back and do it for the other molecules, that also fine, you can do it. You see for this one. Uh, a4 and B2, consider this, A4 and B2. So what we can write, we can write AA, again we can write AA, we can write BB. AA, AB, AB, this is another isomer. So these are the two isomers possible here. You can see here, we won't get any third possibility like this.
clear understood oh yes sir right so if they ask you the number of isomers you have to draw like this you don't have to draw these structures in the exam it takes a lot of time but yes you should have the understanding that when you have written the ligands like this in a pair then how the molecule looks like how can we draw the structure with this particular right all these pairs are present at the opposite uh, corner of a diagonal so where ex exactly are these pairs drawn again diagonal opposite okay just suppose you had you don't have anything right you just you just have these pairs so how do we draw it a a and all it a square and all and then we have a metal here in the center a a hai yahan pe so we'll have we'll place a a here like this kahi bhi opposite a a again so a and we have bb so we can draw this oh, is yeah. one of the structure right and this one if you write like this aa bb aa this one and this one are the same thing right yes sir all of you understood yes sir so this is your time in the exam so you must take care of this how to draw the structure now on the basis of this only i am not going to draw that octahedral structure now just i am writing down the complex you tell me how many isomers possible for this if possible then okay like you see the another one i think it is a fourth one fourth or fifth one fourth one i guess right no fifth one yeah fifth one uh tell me how many isomers we have here m a 3 b c d type you see all these are monodentate ligands how many isomers we have here in m a 2 b 2 and c 2 type done okay so first one we are getting four and the second one we are getting okay so the 
arrangement, the possible arrangement here are we can write down our AA, then we can write down AB and CD. Then we'll have AA, then AC, BD. Again, we'll write down AD together. So AA, AD, BC. And one more we have AB, AC. There are the four isomers possible for the first one. Okay, second one we can have AA, BB, CC, AB, AB, CC. And when we have AA, BC, BC, AC, BB, AC, then AB, AC, BC. Five GI possible for this. Is it Okay. Now, one very important point here it is what? And out of this five geometrical isomers, this one, the last one that I have written here, this one is optically active also. Optically active. You must take care of. There is no plane of symmetry in this. Similarly, you can draw for another molecules like we have M A two B two C D type, and in this we have six G I possible M A two B C D E type. In this we have nine G I possible. And last one we have M, A, B, C, D, E, F type. In this we have 15 GI possible. Okay. And here we get this one. This has been asked in NEET exam, the last one. Fourth one. Which one? This one, the fifth one. No, sir, the M A three B C D. A B A C A D. You're talking about the fourth one. Uh, case five. Uh, the fourth sub example. B C A D. You're talking about. A B A C A D. Yes, sir. Okay, you see this. A B This also we can say. Uh, sir, can we also say if there are no uh, identical elements in the same ordered pair, they'll be optically active? No identical? Like uh, if all the uh, elements in the ordered pair are different, like there's no AA, AB or something, like AA, BB and all. 
if there's a b b c a c and all then it will be optically active is it right to say that no, optically active we just check the plane of symmetry okay we will discuss that, that. Uh, optically active optical optical isometry will discuss after this geometrical isometry will see that so we'll check the plane of symmetry over there nothing much oh okay sir okay Yeah, M A B C D E F type all are optically active. There is no plane of symmetry there. You can say that. Okay, one important example here, the last one, is this. We have M A three B three type, and this one, they have asked many times in the exam. J. For example. Uh, we have CO, NO two three, NH three, this one. Okay. So whenever you get this kind of question, you represent it this way. Then it will be easier for you to analyze. Okay. Molecule is this, and this is the uh, representation we have. so we can represent two structure for this and in this case we do not uh, you know write uh, cis or trans uh, uh, term here so we have metal here one possibility where all the a present at 90 degree right all the a present at we can place uh, like it this way uh, one on the top on the bottom will have b one and then two and then three two and then three like this this is one way another way is what we'll have a metal here a will place over here b here a again here so this molecule you see okay so this looks like this looks like the face of a triangle here see this this also looks like the face of a triangle right this uh, particular representation we call it as facial isomer this one is this one is facial isomer and not we call it as fac in this one the position of ligands are are on the meridian of an octahedron this position and this position meridian of an octahedron and this we call it as meridional isomer just this term you have to memorize nothing much fact and mer in short so always remember ma3b3 type we represent it this way and we do not you know uh 
uh, write down cis or trans isomer here, but we write down facial, that is fat or mer isomer. So, observe yeah. so, but here everything is a rabbit and tail again. No, N2, N2 is whether you write here or not, N2 has the tendency of to, to behave as an ambient again, but here nitrogen is the donor. Okay. If it is oxygen, then it would be written over there O N O, not NO2. Okay. And how do we write cis or trans for the others before this? For which one? For any of the others, like M, oh, A3, B2, C or something. Oh, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll go to the beginning. So one second. Uh, what? Sorry, I just copy this. Cis and trans, we just see the identical legal. And therefore, this I'll explain you one or two examples. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. See, the simplest one is MA4 B2 type. Okay, so in that case, you, 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 you consider the position of B over there. In one of the isomers, the 2B ligand present at 90 degree, and in other, another one, the 2B ligand present at 180 degree. Yes. This one. Yes, sir, that one you explained, sir. Huh. Sir, after that, the next one also you explained after that, like I'll MA3, B, C, D. And I got the point. Mm -hmm. Suppose you're talking about this one, right? Here's his entrance, okay? So this also you told, sir, you can take any one and then write with respect. And which one you're talking about? Next one, sir. Like supposing there are four ligands, MA3. This one. C, no, so MA3, B, C, D, or MA2, B2, C2. So in that case, usually we do not write any one you can take at that. See, suppose we have MA3, according to you, MA3, B, C, D type, correct? Yes. Okay. So what we can write? You draw the structure. We can write A, A here, A, then B, C, D, we can write like this, okay? Why with respect to A, you cannot define because the 2A here present at 180 as well as 90, correct? So if you yes. change the position here, like for example, we have metal here and um, what change we can do. We can do one thing. We can have this A place here and uh, D on the top, B and C. Correct. So here you see all A are at 90 degree. Correct. But if you look at the two structure here, you can take B and D with respect to B and D, you can differentiate the two. It is trans here, and it is cis here. Any two okay. ligands you can take if the structure is given. But we cannot okay. define with, it's it's very you know, you know it depends upon the structure what is given. With respect to A, you cannot define because A are at 180 as well as 90 degree also. So this we cannot take. Any any two ligands out of the three B C D we can take for this. Like in this one, this is one possible isomer, this is another possible isomer. Do we have another possibility in this? Yes, we sir. can have another possibility also. Right. Yes, sir. B and C are at 90 degree, are at 180 degree. Many structures you can draw. B and C here. D you let it be as it is. A. A and A. Okay. Okay, sir. Understood. So this also you can take. So basically, uh, there is no uh, you know, uh, proper definition of cis and trans. They just said that based on the angle we can say, but depending upon the structure you have to choose, okay, with respect to this it is cis or this it is trans, right? Okay, so got it. Fine, so this is we have done for all the possibility we have done. 
or octahedral complex with only monorindent ligand. It is also possible that in the complex we'll have one bidentate ligand and other are monorindent or more than one bidentate ligand. That is also possible. Write down the next type here. So can you go to the previous page? What? Uh, the board six, sir. Uh, board number six, you said? This one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, so in all these molecules, the one which is the most important one and which they have asked question uh, many is this one, MA3B3 type, that is facial and meridonal. How do we write down facial and meridonal? Facial is all the A identical ligand present at 90 degree. You see the position of this, this and this. All these are at 90 degree. When one of this you place at 180, you exchange the position of this two, you get meridonal, which is this one, right? So here you see the 2A, one of the A present at 90 degree from the other uh, A ligand and 180 degree from the other A ligand. This is present at 90 as well as 180. And same thing we have for B also. 180 with respect to this, 90 with respect to this. So basically, if you interchange the position here, you'll get married or not. Why we call it as married or not? That is not required, but it says like uh, it is present, the ligands are present at the married or not of the octahedron, hence it is married or not, nothing much. Okay? But you should know how to write down the fact, uh, facial or married or not isomer, that is what I explained. All at 90 degree, two at 90, one at 90. Okay, now um, the next one is compounds containing second type, write down. Compounds containing um, bidentate ligand. So for example, the first one we have M A A A4 type. What do you understand by this complex? So one is bidentate, four is monodentate, so six. One is identical bidentate ligand and other one and, and four ligands are monodentate, right? Identical monodentate ligand. Coordination number is six for this complex. When coordination number is six, the geometry is octahedral and to draw the structure, we'll draw a square. What you have to keep in mind here, whenever you have bidentate ligand, okay, whether it is symmetrical or unsymmetrical, the two donor atom, in this case, we have A and A, two donor atom must present at 90 degree. 180 you cannot take. Must present at 90 degree, right? For example, you see ethylene diamine. Ethylene diamine, I'm just trying to make you understand this. We have nitrogen is a donor atom and this nitrogen is connected with carbon, CH2, CH2, another nitrogen atom like this. And it donates electron and forms a complex like this. So this two donor atom are connected by this bond, right? This bond or this connection we represent by like this. This means AA atoms are joined together. The bonds of the ligand that we have here. So maybe if you present this A at 180, the bond length is not enough or if it is enough also, 
then there will be more restraint and hence we do not place this two ligand this no two atom at 180 degree to each other always keep that in mind for bilinear ligand the position occupied by the donor atoms of bilinear ligand is always at 90 degree so this is the uh, you know the position of the two bilinear bilinear ligands and all a present like this understood how many gis are possible in this complex one huh? one only like only one structure no gi only one structure so no gi okay gi we always uh, you know write in a pair so one structure cannot give you pair right so no gi possible because all these positions are equivalent it does not matter whether you place this a over here or this a over here or this a over here right so all there is no gi for this one if you look at look at the second example we have maa and a3 b type tell me how many j one more thing we can write here like similarly just to save the time in the exam you can write aa then we can write again aa only one possibility how many gi is possible in this understood aditya aditya manjunath geometrical isomer possible with the relative position no you change the position of a and check whether you are getting different structure or not so the possible structure here is aa then we'll write aa and then we'll write ab see this is not the method it is not given in the book but to understand or to save time to count the number of gi it is always better than to draw the structure in the exam okay another one is what aa we write as it is with a we'll write down b and then aa and we do not have any other possibilities so two gi possible for this one sir so, uh, in the previous one you'll get a a capital a capital a small a small a uh, two pairs of that and then capital a small a no you won't capital a capital a you won't get oh right that is the rule right it should uh, by dentate should always be at 90 right 90 degrees so emotional okay isko yahan nahi place karna <laughs> okay sure sir okay so it is always at 90 degrees so you won't have the pair of aa okay ye pair nahi ban sakta never okay next one you see third type maa a2b2 tell me the number of gi M A A A B C D. M A A
Okay, so here it would, it would be A A we have. Then we have A A and B B. A B. A B. A B. A. Okay, in this one we'll write. Sorry. A A. Then A B. And then C D. And A C. And then A B. A D. And then we have A D. A B, then C D, right? Similarly, we can draw three more isomer here. So the first and third are the same. First and third, is it? Acha, C D I have written here. A D. Kya kar diya maine? A D. It should be AC here. AC. Is it fine? Yes. Okay. So I think you can have open for more than the fourth one. Yeah. We have six GI possible. AC AD. So AC AD. AC AD. 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 And AB. AB. Six GI possible like this. Okay. And again, I'm telling you this thing you don't do not write in your school exam or in board exam. Okay. This obviously gives you an idea that how many GI possible. And you won't get wrong answer over here if you could find the number of GI like this. Okay. So this portion is deleted. Sorry. So this portion is deleted. Are your voice is not coming, Anjali, properly? So she said that this portion is deleted for our school. Actually, it's not there. Fine. Then it is fine. They won't ask you this. But like every year, I used to, you know. Uh, say this in the exam, which is just for the information how to count the number of GIs without drawing the structure. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. A A3 type is I'll draw the structure for this one. Okay, then only you will understand that how the structure possible for this one. So you see, we have a square by pyramidal. Uh, metal is here. Then A, A, right? All our bidentate ligands must present at 90 degree. So we can say these two are connected. These two are connected and these two are connected. One possibility is this. Okay. Another one is what metal present here. A. A. This two. Oh, sorry. We can write next what. Tell me, do you have any GI possible? Yes, sir. 
can we draw any structure here if i take this to here for example right then if you take this one we'll have the same structure if you take this one sorry uh, this one then it is not possible because these two are at 180 degree are you getting me so whatever said and done one pair will always be at 180 degree yes that's why in this we do not have gi no gi possible in this one. right but why i have done this if you look at this molecule so this is not possible so let me just remove it it is not possible but if you look at this molecule here if i take unsymmetrical ligand which is nothing but this m a b 3 type in this is it possible sir in the previous one case 5 uh, we'll have to write a capital a capital a no even like even if we want to get one structure we have to write capital a capital a so that means one a pair of a's are in, at 180 degree with each other ah, this you are talking about yes sir if we follow that uh, coordinate that coordinate system how do no, i say what yes. is see that the two atoms donor atoms right which belongs to the same molecule same ligand should not be there at 180 degree okay sir means you have multiple bidentate no en has suppose ethylene diamine so one ethylene diamine placed here another one placed here what is so big deal it is okay sir but then if we write the ordered pair a a and all you you have to write a a a a a you have yes. no choice no what i said this is also not a genuine method we don't try it like this this is just i have given you to count the number of gi's okay okay sir here there is no sense of writing it down a a a does not make any sense so not yes, required and however in this it is not possible so that's all this okay, okay. in this yes, one how is it possible last one there is no gi here no gi don't think so no sir why no sir they could be two sir i don't know i'm not getting your voice properly today for all of you some i think some network problem anyways then we have suppose i place a here and b here right then i can place uh, a here and b here and next is a here and b here right so we can say these two are connected these are connected and these are connected or another possibility i think one more should be there then we can write a here and a here b here and b here
this one possible sounds the same is it it's not same oh yeah yeah yes sir see these two gi is possible for this one so how are they different sir could you explain ah uh, yeah i'll explain no i it's not possible gi uh, mirror image is not possible here i'll tell you um, in this one um because we are talking about geometrical isomerism so mirror image we are not considering see here it's very simple and clear you can understand this look at the relative position of all a here we have these two at 90 this two at 90 but this is at 180 right in this one you see all a placed at 90 degree 90 oh, yes sir yes sir these two are different relative position is different here two molecules are different but in the previous one it was a only everywhere right a a so if you draw this one also the relative position is same so no gi in the previous case right it looks like similar but the relative position of a is different in the two molecule yes sir what so in fact this one is uh what we can say a a and a here yeah that's right let it so this is the two structure we have the second one here if you compare this with the facial and meridional one this one all a present at 90 so this one is fac and this one is mark it looks like different but all a are at 90 here also and in facial also all a was at 90 got it yeah so this is it for coordination number six here the coordination number six is the most important one okay most important one they ask mainly from coordination number six only optical isomerism will discuss finishing geometrical okay so next you write down for uh, coordination. Minute, sorry so one minute i was copying that sir Just a second, sir. Done, sir. Thank you. So next is uh, write down coordination number four. Coordination number four. If you have complex contains, contains all monodentate ligand, all monodentate ligand. So for example, the first one is MA4 type. Do we have any GI in this? No GI present. Yes. If you write down MA3B type, what is the number of GI? MA2B2. MA2BC. MABCD. Number of GI is in this.
musical. So in this one, we have no GI. In this one, we have cis and trans two GI possible. If we want to write down just AA and BB. In this one, we have AA, BC. So we have only two GI. That is A, A, B, C, and we have AB. AC type in this, and here we have one. We can write ABCD together, or we can write ACBD together, or we can write ADBC. Any other possibility? We have only three GI possible. Uh, AB will be also possible. I've written here too. Okay, so since we have coordination number four, so we'll get two pair here, right? Third pair won't be there. If we have bidentate ligand in this, then what is the, what are the possibilities? A bidentate ligand. We have M. A A A two type M A A A B type M A B A two type M A A Two type M A A B B type M A A C D type M A B C D type. M A B A B type. Try all this. How do we know if it's square, plane, or tetrahedral?
And what about the last one? Is square planar or tetrahedral triple? We can understand only if you know the geometry. Sorry, hybridization. If you are getting it as sp3, it is tetrahedral. Otherwise. SP2 gives square planar. So hybridization gives you this information. Yes. So we need to know that to know the isomers or not? No. Uh, in the complex, when you use that VBT, you know, with that, whatever hybridization you are getting, you will get that. Because in this case, that is there in case of trigonal bipyramid. Where we have to, where where we have, you know, uh, the we can you can talk about this thing. Um, mm, what is the dipole moment? You can talk about whether dipole moment is zero or not, or you can talk about number of bond lengths are same or different, which gives you a square pyramidal geometry also, right? But in case of coordination number four, you will get whatever the uh, geometry, whatever the hybridization we have according to that, you will get the geometry. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Square planar, you will get DSP2 hybridization. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, uh, in this one, you see all these molecules from number one to number six. The number of GIs are zero. No GI possible in all these molecules. You can think of by drawing the structure, you'll get no geometrical isomerism. From one to six. Okay. One thing you can, uh, you know, keep in mind, if you, if coordination number is four and the ligand is symmetrical by dented, coordination number four, ligand is symmetrical by dented, then GI is not possible. That you can keep in mind. Right? Coordination number four, symmetrical by dented, no GI possible. Here we have two GI, and here we have again two GI possible. The possibility is AA, BB, and we can also write AB. B A. You also similar way we can write down. We have A C B D B D and we have A D B C. Understood? So these are the few examples we have done for coordination number four and six. Okay. Now we'll see the optical isomerism. We don't have much in this, only few examples we need to discuss in optical isomerism. 
write down the heading optical isomerism. See, you know the logic behind optical isomerism. It is the property of a molecule towards plane polarized light. So I'm not going to give you the basic understanding what is optical isomerism and all that we already know. Okay, what you need to know here, first of all, all linear geometry, whatever linear geometry we have, they do not show optical isomerism. So write down the first point, linear geometry does not show optical activity or optical isomerism because the suppose we have square planar right so in the square planar geometry the plane in which this the molecule is present along that plane only we have a plane of symmetry right we can divide the molecule into two equal half along that plane and hence we have a plane of symmetry so there is no optical isomerism possible for square planar geometry or any planar geometry, like linear, trigonal planar, right, square planar. Optical isomerism is not possible. Okay. Next slide down. Tetrahedral geometry. Tetrahedral geometry shows optical isomerism. Tetrahedral geometry shows optical isomerism if and only if all the four ligands are different. All the four ligands are different. Then only we do not have any plane of symmetry there. So, could you just repeat that? Yeah. Um, tetrahedral geometry shows optical isomerism. Tetrahedral geometry shows optical isomerism. If all the four ligands are different. If any two are same, GI is sorry, optical isomerism is not possible. Because when four ligands are different, then only we do not have any plane of symmetry. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay, next slide down. Uh, so what if it's a bidentate ligand? Ah, wait, I'll do. Wait. Right down next. The molecule or the complex which shows optical isomerism. The complexes which shows optical isomerism must contains or not must contain, which shows optical isomerism may contain. at least one symmetrical bidentate ligand. At least one symmetrical bidentate ligand. Next one. Okay. The complex contains unsymmetrical bidentate ligand. Unsymmetrical bidentate ligand. Then also optical isomerism possible. May possible. Means if all these things are there, then you can think of optical isomerism. Unsymmetrical bidentate ligand, then optical isomerism possible. Last point, trans isomers, 
trans isomers contains plane of symmetry trans isomer contains plane of symmetry hence does not show optical isomerism Hence, does not show optical isomerism. Okay, there are few complexes which shows optical isomerism. I'll write down the general formula here of the complex. This type of complex it shows geometrical, sorry, optical isomerism. M A two B two C two type. We have discussed this. One of the combination shows optical activity. M A B C D E F type. optically active if you have maa this is also optically active m aa2 type a2 this is also optically active aa2 type ab this is also optically active mab3 type this is also optically active. one minute i am coming copy this yes sir okay now uh, this two we have already seen this complex you see the structure of this maa3 type how do we draw the structure here so uh, only one possibility we have one structure we can draw where all the a atoms present like this Tell me, do you have any symmetry here? All A atoms are there.
Along the plane bus square, do you have symmetry? Sir, could you please repeat? Yeah, tell me. Uh, no, sir, can you please repeat that, sir? I didn't hear you. Along the plane of the square, do we have symmetry? No, sir. No, sir. No. Okay. Some of you are saying yes, some of you are saying no. We do not have. Why we do not have? If you take a plane here, along the plane of the square, this, we do not have mirror image over here. Looks like, right? So the position of the bidentity. What? See, fine. Uh, in this molecule, obviously I have given over there that this molecule shows optical isomorphism. So we do not have plane of symmetry here. No POS in this. There is plane of symmetry. Optical activity is not possible. Yes. So actually what happens here, this, you may get mirror image of this A over here. Suppose it is out of the plane and it is below the plane we have. So this bond, this A bond is coming above this diagonal, right? This MA bond. It's just above it. And this bond is below this diagonal. Yes or no? Can you imagine this? Yes. Sir. Yes, tell me. Right? That's why the, this thing, plane of symmetry is not possible in this one. Okay, the same logic you can apply to these, uh, you know, uh, complex also. M A A two, A two time. The only difference is what this A A two is fine. We can have two monodentic.
हेलो यस सर लॉस्ट द कनेक्शन दिस इज सेकंड यस कैन यू हियर मी यस सर ओके सो दिस इज द यू नो प्लेन ऑफ सिमेट्री गेम all the examples if you write down a2 type here or if you write down m a a2 ab type here all these are optically active because of this one there is one uh, you know example here which is that facial and meridional m a3 b3 type m a3 b3 this you have to memorize okay because one of the molecule you can easily understand there is plane of symmetry the other one it is not visible in the complex right because it has alternative axis of symmetry which is actually you need to change the position angle and then you have to imagine it right so that's a very difficult thing to visualize in the complex so you have to memorize this one uh i'll first of all i'll draw the structure the two possible structure here is one is facial other one is meridional so two is square metal at the center and facial is all a are at 90 degrees 1 2 3 all a are at 90 degree meridional is uh i'll draw it right b b and b this is facial all a are at 90 degree meridional is 1 a here basically this two position you have to interchange you'll get meridional So we have uh, a a here we get b here we have a b and b this is meridional in this one it is it is very at along this plane will have the plane of symmetry this a and this a will have the mirror image so along this plane we have the plane of symmetry right so in this we can say we have p o s and hence no optical isomerism this molecule shows okay in this molecule is difficult to visualize but this molecule contains optical uh, contains alternative axis of symmetry right so just keep this in mind sometimes they ask this question because we cannot see here if, like like if try to imagine you won't get here any kind of plane of symmetry because this thing you cannot Uh, imagine it. it's very difficult to visualize you know you have to draw the structure three times two three times and then you have to see the plane of symmetry this is something is very difficult to visualize so what i am telling you here ma3 b3 type first of all the molecule is optically inactive there is no second thought about it optically inactive right if they ask you this question also then also you keep this in mind that this molecule however uh you know plane of symmetry we cannot visualize in this but this molecule you know it contains act alternative axis of symmetry right any kind of symmetry is there which makes the molecule optically inactive no optical isomer okay apart from this i have given you what all different formulas we have general formulas which shows optical activity you need to just check the plane of symmetry by drawing the structure if you do not memorize uh that's the method we have otherwise you can keep this one as well so oh, excuse me so what did you say aos is alternating Alternative axis of oh, could you just explain that sir uh, what it means uh, we can do that we can do that but uh, you know usually what happens you have to keep this in mind because in any molecule you cannot Uh, you know uh, identify this particular axis of symmetry that's why mostly we don't talk about it it is an it is an element of symmetry that we generally discuss in uh, this thing solid state okay center of symmetry plane of symmetry alternative axis of symmetry this rarely exist but it is there so we have so what happens you have to change the position into this and then you can find out the alternative axis of symmetry okay uh, just a second Oh, do one thing you let it be here we'll discuss solid state in that only i'll tell you how to do this because you need to draw the structure and then change the position you'll get one particular structure here again you change the position another structure you get and then you can compare the first and third like that 
you can say there is an alternative exosymmetric result. Okay, so let it be. We'll discuss a little bit this in solid state. Okay, we'll do that. Not much important, but here you need to uh, understand that SPCB3 type. Okay, uh, it contains first of all, it does not show optical activity, right? And one of the molecules, the left side, I have drawn. Okay, in that molecule, we have alternative axis of symmetry present. Right, and that, that's why it is optically inactive, which actually you could not see because it does not look like, uh, you know, any kind of symmetry present into this molecule. You want oh, to make yeah. it? just a second. Ah, uh, what? Uh, sir, where exactly is the POS for the B case? POS for the B case. This one. This one. Yes, sir. Uh, along the plane of the square. Oh, it's the not, mirror image of A is A itself. Uh, uh, right, right. It's, it's not bidented. No, it's not connected to the corner plane. Oh, okay, sir. Right. If it is connected, then it would be difficult. Right, but here it is there because it's not bidented again. Okay. Yes, sir. understood, sir. I'll show you one figure here. You'll understand the alternative axis of symmetry. Hold on, guys. See, this way we generally uh, understand optically uh, alternative axis of symmetry. Any molecule, if it is given like this, okay. If you rotate this by 90, 90 degree, right, like this two comes over here, this three comes over here, four comes over, we'll get this. 
Okay. Once again, I'm getting a call. Okay, if, if you uh, rotate this by 90 degree, or if you keep on rotating, okay, you will get a state where the first molecule, this is structure, and the other one completely overlaps. Okay, it's look like identical to each other. And that particular thing, we call it as alternative exosymmetry. Here also the complete structure is not drawn. Okay, four-fold axis of symmetry we have here. Means you need to draw it, uh, you know, rotate it four times like this. Okay, so this kind of symmetry, that's what I was telling you. Even if you understand this, you cannot imagine in this uh, in the molecule. Right? It's very difficult to imagine. That's why MA3B3, why I have given you this example, because they have asked this question in the exam. Alternative X of symmetry, we cannot visualize in the molecule. So when you look at the structure here, it looks like there is no symmetry present here. Right? Because it has alternative axis of symmetry. That's why I said you have to memorize this here. You need to rotate the molecule and then if you find one state where the two molecules looks like completely identical, then we consider alternative axis of symmetry. This comes under elements of symmetry where we have center of symmetry, plane of symmetry, two-fold axis of symmetry, four-fold, six-fold axis of symmetry. There are many things comes into this, okay? Even in solid state also, we won't discuss this in detail. We won't discuss this in detail. Mainly we'll see center of symmetry and plane of symmetry. So that is the only thing we need to uh, take care of. So this is it for this chapter, okay? Uh, coordination compound, we have done this thing in detail. Isomerism part, uh, especially coordination number six, optical isomerism is the most important one. They ask questions on hybridization related also, BBT, CF also they ask question based on that so there are many different kinds of questions that forms here but we have seen that on the basis of isomerism they have asked question many times and VPT they have asked question many times <clears throat> one last thing I will tell you you will also see some color based question in this chapter okay what is color this complex shows so color of the complex is because of the DD transition transition between D and D orbital and if D subshell contains any unpaired electron then only it shows color. If there is no electron in the D subshell it is uh, it does not show any color right. So DD transition the orbital gap that we have the energy gap that we have this this energy it corresponds to one particular wavelength and corresponds to that only we have the color of the complex. So obviously, this color of the complex, we cannot find out logically. We have the way to find out the color. Because suppose if you solve this and you get the lambda, right? Lambda value you got. Then how do you memorize that, you know, wavelength of each color you cannot memorize, right? So you can find out the mathematical value of it. But still, you cannot say that this wavelength corresponds to which color. It is, impo it is you know, impossible to memorize the wavelength of each color. That's why the color related complex that you get, what you do, metals with in a given particular oxidation state, it shows a different, a, 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 it shows a color. You make a note of it, okay? You will hardly have eight to 10 different types of you know, ions with metals. So make a note of it and try to keep this in mind before the exam, you can give it a revision of all these, right? These kind of things you'll revise in last days, last week of the exam actually. So that you can do. Fine guys, so we are done with this uh, coordination compound. Okay, we are going to start with a new chapter and that is physical chemistry solution we are going to start with. Okay.